to do. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, well, welcome to this is kind uh, of the first, isn't it? Acoustic Paradiso. I feel like I've bought myself a shirt uh, to join the ranks of Acoustic Paradiso. So now I feel like I'm a fully fledged member. <sighs> do we need to actually talk about that shirt or not? <laughs> I'm sure common section will go. Aah! When I say fully goes, fledged Yay! member, I suspect most people will be talking about the member element of it. But hey, well, member. it's an epic deal. It's an epic deal. Uh, because we bought some Faith guitars. Yeah. Uh, and they've got some big discounts. Yeah. And we're going to tell you about them. Yeah. What do we know about Faith guitars, Pete? We you know gotta, that. you got to have Faith. So, well, Faith is a UK uh, it manufacturer is. brand. Uh, Patrick James Eckel. The man. Has, uh, the man himself uh, has uh, is involved. Is he still involved? Yes, he, he, does, still he involved, does a lot he? of consultancy and yeah. design stuff. And, and he's like designed that, yeah. the, the actual um, uh, neck joint that's in here. The PJE uh, neck joint that's in this wow, thing. I, I didn't think know it's, that. Yeah, I think he's designed the way that this is. Which makes sense. Yeah. Um, <coughs> so we've got a couple of guitars. Yeah. Um, if any of you are familiar with the Faith range, you will know that it's split into different basic shapes named after planets. Yeah. Um, Pete's got the Venus, which is probably the most <laughs> popular shape, which is that sort of modern contemporary sort of grand auditorium kind of vibe. Yeah, almost, it's almost like an OM size, but it's grand, but it's not, and it's got a cutaway. Yeah. And it's, it's, I'm not sure if it's one of their own kind of 
I mean, who knows who has well, invented Well, a millimetre here and a millimetre there, and you can call it your own, I suppose, can't oh, you? Oh, it's happened but, before, uh, hey. hasn't it? Um, and uh, so that's that, and we'll go into why that's a bit special in a minute. Yep. And this one is a Neptune, uh, yes. which, as you can see, is one of the bigger shapes. Kind of not quite... <coughs> Not quite um, Gibson J200, but a bit bigger than a Dreadnought, but not as big as a J200. That kind of it, it, vibe. It's right, right, right. It's um, right in the middle. Right in, <laughs> right in the middle. <laughs> that, and this has got an Engelmann spruce top, which is something you only find in the really high-end guitars like Martin. They'll use, you know, if you, I think the John, is it the John Mayer, the Clapton, Martin stick, they've mm. got Engelmann spruce, and that's like an up yeah. price. Engelmann anyway. Humperdinck, that's um, my favourite. Engelmann so. and the Humperdinck. Um, and it's a book, book matched, I can't speak today. Uh, two pieces. Today? Top. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> it's just every day, I just can't speak at all. But if you look at this top, uh, not this top, but this top, you can see how this bit is the same as that bit. Yeah. That line is the same as that line. This line is the same as that line, which means that it's a book it's, match. It's like a, a book match. Yeah, exactly. And you know what? That is a really good book matched top on this guitar. Yes. That you rarely see. Sometimes yeah. there's a little bit of a thing over there. But this is very well done. It's beautiful. Um, we should also say that the other thing that Faith are famous for, or not famous, but it's like it's their thing, mm -hmm. is they only make guitars uh, made of solid woods. Yes. So we always talk about this idea. Most people would agree that, you know, relatively low down the price range, you'll go from going from a laminate top to a piece of solid wood yeah. top, but you have to go much, much higher up the price range. I mean, in Martin and Taylor stuff, you're talking about going into the thousands of pounds yeah. before you get a guitar where the back and the sides are solid as opposed to being laminate. But does it make a difference, Lee? So, I don't know. Well, look, I think it, I think it does. I mean, I think generally speaking, on, on electric guitars, the debate about uh, timber choice and, and how much it affects the tone is is clearly, um, you know, it's it's we all agree it's a marginal difference, not yeah. not perhaps one of the things that makes Why the you biggest say difference. That? You say on an that. acoustic guitar, it absolutely is about the only, you know, the, the only really kind of two main things that are going to make a difference is what size is the guitar and what timbers do you build it from. Well, and the, the bracing. Like the bracing in this is a quarter sawn bracing. Uh, and I'm not, I think it looks like it has got the X bracing in here. We're yabbering on, aren't we? are yabbering on. Let's go back to this one. Faith Venus Special Percussion Edition. Yeah. So it's exactly the same spec as a regular Faith uh, Venus. But instead of having the normal Fishman, uh, what do they Ink. have? Like the, no, what's the normal Pre one? Precis plus. Precis system. Well, it's, it's in. Yes, in there. This one has the much more expensive, sophisticated ink body. Body, yeah. So there's two different versions of this. There's the ink, which is kind of half the size, and then there's the ink body, which has got a body pickup somewhere <laughs> in its I'm body. Not, yeah, in so its, it's body. under the bridge. Yeah. But we we were trying to tap yeah, it to I sort think... of get. So it maybe feels like it's more hairy. Well, I than... just I just think it's be, it's just to capture when you do that. So it also has got a clever little. So, just if you can see this on the camera, you have got bass, middle, treble, normal, Aye. Uh, notch filter. So that's like if you've got a, um, a feedback thing, yep. you can you can find where you can take that down. It's got the body pickup. You can blend it in and out with the Piazzo pickup here, and then it's got a, a brilliance um, pickup, which is great. Uh, brilliant. So yeah, because you can be more brilliant. So if you're not so brilliant, you, you just to, you, you just, just turn, turn it up, up a bit, and then so you're I need brilliant. one. Yeah, I need one. Volume. And then you've got this little elongated thing here. Uh, and if you click it, it turns the phase. Right. So, you know, if you are out of phase or yep. it's got a f Another whatever feedback, feedback issue, maybe. And then if you, uh, if you, if you hold that. Ooh. You've got neon strobe light. You have got a. Your own laser show. You've got a laser show that also is a tuner. I like it. And I believe that also mutes the guitar when you tune. So, so your audience don't down. have to hear you tuning. I like it. So that is very clever. And it's faced, it's cleverly faced the way towards me. When I'm looking at it, I can see, it's not, you know what I mean? It's yeah, sometimes yeah. the other way and you're going. Show us how the battery goes in. I thought that was nifty. It was very nifty. Um, so on the back here, you've got your little, uh, where you can strap on. And then you got that. And this is a little slide along let me in. Hello. Oh, hello. And then battery, there. battery in there. That's easy. Back down. You know what's cool about that is you can't you, you can't lose the battery clip then, can you? No. Because that's the one of the things that's really annoying about certain bits. You, you lose the battery clip, but you can't lose that, can you? Yeah. It well, off. it 
My only might concern break it. might be a little flimsy whimsy there. So be careful with that, kid. You know, you might I like get, it. You might get it, but there is a little. I like it. Yeah, it's really cool. It. Really, really cool. Uh, you get a nice. I'll oh, go on. Keep going. Okay. Yeah, nice case with it. We'll show you the case in a minute. Yeah, we I'll do. come back to that. So the uh, board is uh, ebony, Macasa. Nice ebony, uh, and I believe some of that you can see. There's a little it's line through it. Yes, yeah, figured ebony. It is. It's lovely. Uh, mahogany bag and sides and neck and Grover gold tuners with up. Uh, that's probably ebony as well. I would think maybe. And rosewood bindings. I like your end pins. They've got pretty little, <coughs> like mother of pearl inlays with a little gold circle around. Yeah, them. I like them. Yeah, nice. Cost not here. Real elephant touch. Not real elephant. Yeah, no, no, no. And uh, and uh, this is what it sounds like. Um, I think we should just use the Neumann KM one eight fours. What plectrum are you playing with, Mr. Uh, I'm playing with a Tortex 1 mil. Oh, so you're just going with the big, heavy, thick plectrum? Well, it's kind of fl flexible. Is it? A little flexible? Yeah, a little flexible. <laughs> so, um... Start singing Mumford and Sung songs. Mumford, uh, Mumford, 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 Mumford and Sung songs. Mumford and Sung songs. Mumford and Sung songs. Yeah, it's like. So anyway, so it sounds it sounds great. You know, you can you can. You can pick on it. It's very comfortable. It's got twelve gauge strings on it, so it's nice and easy to play. It feels nice. It doesn't have a fat neck or anything. Nice thin necks, haven't they? These? Well, yeah. Not, you know, as in a bit contemporary feel. Yeah. Sort of Slightly stratty. roll fingerboards, nice. I think. Let's go back and just hear what this uh, system sounds like. I'm plugged into this Gensler. I was about to say, I think it's important. So you've, we've heard it through the microphone, but of course yeah. we can't really show off the, the, the uh, system in there unless we put it through the amp. So yeah. let, let's have a listen through this, because this sounds great. This, yeah. What is this called? Acoustic uh, Array Pro. Yeah. From Array. Gensler. Array. Acoustic Array! <laughs> With two inputs, two channels, you can have a microphone in there, but that's not what we're talking about. We'll look at that at some other time. And what do you got? The reverb great. coming from the amp? Or the yes, reverb, reverb from, from the, the amp. Board. I just had a okay. little board down here where I've got a looper on and, uh, and some stuff, like a Soulmate acoustic from T-Rex. Um, that was just to do the loop in the beginning. Um, but we set everything at 12 here, and the brilliance at 12, and then take the notch to 12, and put the body pick up down, and then do a G again uh, coming out of the amp. And then you can start customizing, right? Because then they might, this is very flat, you know, everything mm -hmm. is very flat, flat, flat. Um, so you can turn up the bass. That might be too much. Now, a little bit, little bit over 12, like one o'clock. There's a little notch there as well, so you know where 12 is. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah and then, like then you put a bit of brilliance. Yes. Because today we need a bit of brilliance. Let's do full brilliance. This must be faulty. There was a mistake there. <laughs> yeah. That wasn't brilliant at all. That, that's, um, it maybe needs more battery. You can definitely hear that. Yeah. Uh, here's, the, here's the treble. Here's the notch. So if we if we say oh we're kind of happy with that. So now all you're hearing is that. just the piazza. Yeah, yeah. So if I want to blend in the body, let's go all the way to the other side first. So I'm assume 
Oh, so that's still on. No, it's, it's, just, it's just both now. Oh, so it's both all the way over. So you're blending in the body pickup as you go along. Then. Yes. Is that the case? Okay, so let's see. Funny, these always come with shakers, spilling shakers. Can we can we not get rid of that? It's really annoying that silica gel thing in there, isn't it? We use it as a shaker. As well? No, mine's no. not. It's alright, man. It's like you somebody's lost a pig in there. Put a bit more reverb on. Yeah, so that's, I mean, there's lots of stuff to do with that. Sounds great to the amp. I think it's more, for me, I understand why this is the special. It's got the body thing, so you can do all that. I don't think it's just that. I actually prefer the sound. I, I've always been, one of the downsides of Piazza pickup, especially yeah. if you're gonna go straight into a PA rather than into an acoustic amp, where yeah. it's sort of slightly compensated for, I think, is it's very bright and very honky, a, a kind of a Piazza output. Yeah. Um, and I think the body sensor, although, although I accept it's probably got a little bit more likely to feed back if you've got lots of volume in there. Yeah. But I think the, the, the body uh, pickup that you've got on there just makes the whole guitar sound more more like you're using a microphone. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah exactly. I've got in my OM28V, I've got the one with the gooseneck mic. I think it's wow. Eclipse. Yeah. The Eclipse, two. yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's got like the little eclipse microphone. Or ellipse. Ellipse 2. Ellipse, was it might ellipse? Be, yeah. Eclipse. I, one of one the other two. two. And it's got the little gooseneck microphone and you can yeah. sort of bend around yeah but i think that's very feedbacky if yes. it's feed, feedbacky but this one doesn't feed back as much i don't think i didn't feel like it was gonna it was gonna go even this is on full volume you know i don't feel yeah. it's gonna if i turn it all the way down here you can definitely hear yeah, that's just a reverb from yeah. that so if yeah. i whack that all the way up you know i don't do i can imagine you want a little bit of that friction. You can't really hear, you know what I mean? You want to go... <laughs> want to do all that on the guitar, you can't hear that. Who's, who's a really good guitar player for that kind of Is that like a Mike Dawes? Mike Dawes, yeah. He's yeah. got the little scratch play, the little yeah. thing he put on here, and he goes, yeah. you know, a little washing board. <laughs> When I'm well, cleaning windows, you all, all know if you're, you know, if you're, if you're into that kind of stuff where you're, you know, people are using the the body of the guitar as like another instrument, uh, then that was kind of purpose designed for that. Yeah, uh, it's style. good guitar, man. It feels it's great. good. It's it it's it's nice. I like it. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to have to refer to my notes now because I've forgotten. So that guitar would normally sell for eight ninety nine. Uh, no idea why, as I don't think it's end of line or anything like that, but we have an epic deal on a few of them to sell at 649. So at 649 with the hard case that we never showed you. One hard case, you Uno, get hard one casing. of these included in the price yeah. of um, each of these guitars actually. So yeah, yeah 899 down to 649 for that guitar. Yeah, for solid, All solid guitar woods with the premium good. premium. It's good. Yeah. Now, now. if you're uh, not in a position to go drop in three ninety nine. Uh, sorry, six forty nine on a guitar. Maybe this one would appeal. So this is uh, the Neptune. Um, it is in a special edition color called Copper Black, um, and it also has a slightly different pickup to what you get on a traditional Faith guitar. So you'll notice there's no preamp cut out here. Bundle. Um, so we've got an all mahogany guitar here now, solid mm. mahogany top, Ooh. stained in this black stain, solid mahogany back and sides, mahogany neck, mahogany strings, um, <laughs> mahogany, no. Mahogany um, hard case. <laughs> with what's called the Sonitone system in it. So Sonitone is, is really discreet. Um, you can tell it anything you like, it will never tell anyone else. Yeah, it's uh, got to keep it secret. And uh, it's basically just a simple <laughs> tone and volume on the inside. So again, you can just about see if you super close up into the sound hole here, yeah. the edge of two little wheels. So.
isn't it? Yeah. Uh, sounds great, man. Now, you're, you're in the AER Compact 60. AER Compact 60, Ooh. still our biggest selling oh, sort of, you know, pro good... end amplifier. Yeah, Super small, great. sounds great, really yeah. easy to use. Yeah. Um, now, bigger guitar, so naturally, probably a bit fatter on the bottom end. The mahogany top will give it a slightly mellower tone to the spruce top on here as well. Yeah. Um, so if that's your bag, you like something a little bit mellower and a bit sort of bigger on the bass end. I'm playing with my fingers again. It's probably less a tre less trebly doing that. If I grab a plectrum, still got plenty of treble if you want it. Woo! Uh, what else can I tell you about this guitar? So you'll notice there is no cutaway. We've still got a 14 fret neck join, so I can still get reasonably up the body before, um, up the neck, sorry, before the body gets in the way, but realistically much beyond the 12th fret. Um, you have to use your little finger. Yes. I'm gonna play like this. Uh, so <laughs> Let's this aspire. <coughs> more of a strummer's guitar, I would sort of say. Anyway, this one has been reduced down to 399 from 649 or something yeah. like that. So it's a big discount on this. A good price for that. You are price. not gonna get anything electroacoustic with solid top and solid back and sides for this kind of money, as far as I'm pretty sure. Correct me if I'm wrong, comment section. And they probably will. Uh, but I'm pretty sure, you know, solid, Top, solid back and side, electroacoustic stuff, gloss finished with the case. Typically speaking, that's more like a 600, 600, 700 pound kind of price. Uh, it's a good price, pricing. and it's a cool looking guitar. Can we just hear what it sounds like uh, with the microphone? Absolutely. Nelly? I didn't play it all. You're not, you're all. not allowed, not allowed to play that song. <laughs> That's like, hey girls, I'll play a song for you. Yeah, oh, man. Do you know, uh, the, uh, do you know Wonderwall? <laughs> <laughs> That's it, you're out, man. That's the last guitar paradiso you'll ever do. Play um, some blues, man. No, uh, that's... Come on, let's have it. Kind of same as Pete's neck profile. I think most yeah, they feel guitars very have got same. a similar neck profile. So pretty slim around the back, not too wide. So again, traditional feeling on the top here. Um, it's just nice and easy to play. I'm, you know, I don't, it, do, it doesn't feel as massive as a J200. It doesn't feel no, right. to me any really different from playing just a regular Dreadnought guitar. Um, I was using this rather oh, yeah. superb. <laughs> uh, now, I didn't realize we got sent these by uh, G7 the other day uh, with, you know, our names on them. Well, I say our, our nicknames on them. <laughs> our stage names. And I, I hadn't even realized that underneath, that what makes these G7 uh, art capos so unique or special is that underneath the rubber bit that hits the strings, there are six Moo like um, sprung loaded moving what under bits. here yeah so the idea is if you whatever the radius of your fretboard is or how it is if the string needs to be pushed down a little bit more it does and if it what? doesn't need to be pushed down it doesn't so you so you get so you any anywhere like you put it on uh, intonation so you just yeah. put it on there and then it's just oh, what no. Yeah. Really? So it let's, improves, let's have a... it's easier to put on and off. It improves intonation, blah, 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 blah. What? See? So, so 
these are like super duper technologically like the most advanced capos in the world ever. That's pretty um, insane, man. And look, I, I, the other thing, I because I was always a fan of like the Shub capo. Shub, shub. Um, but the Shub, shub one, you have to put it on and then kind of a ratchet it on the oh, back those to ones, put it yeah, in yeah. place. Whereas this, you just you just like you squeeze it on. And squeeze I, it on. I, what I because I, I used to have one of these and then it, it got it, it, these tend to get stolen, man. And they just sit, but sit, this it's got a little lip here, if you can see, just there. So when you put it on for your thumb and then your index oh, finger, see, you yeah. just squeeze that two underneath there, whap, and then you can play. Because that's the right key, key. For, isn't it? Oh, yeah, I see you now. Okay, so you're hang on. So the the and then the other thing is that I liked with this. Do you push back? You put yours on that way. I'll put it on that way. Yeah. So yeah. you squeeze it on that way like that, and then because then I can so see the logo the, on the top. Yeah. Uh -huh. And then to take it off, again, you don't unscrew anything. You just release this little thing. And release the crack. So it's very cool. And then if you're like super cool and use capo a lot, you just store it up here like you would with a tuner. And then it's there. And then it makes this guitar sound better as well. Absolutely. <laughs> and then you got your name. Yeah, I don't. That's anyway, really clever, man. This so is these really are cool, clever. But these are brand new. So you have to be really careful. You can buy the regular G7 capo and it doesn't have like the six little spongy springy bits underneath the rubber so you need to get the art one the that's g7 very art. clever no. so there you go what do you think of my shirt that's the other thing in the comment section i like and, ham i like uh, ham in my t-salties go yeah links below see you later